Good morning, Takana. We have another great show for you guys lined up today. Let's get into it. Today's Friday, September 28th, and it's Will and I's first show together. First up, we have Max with a segment about our soccer team, the info about the snack bar, and finally, the weekly weather. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight, we have a football game at BCC at 7.30 against Chicopee with the theme being Neon Lights. And on Monday, starting at 4, we have Senior Night for the boys' soccer team at BCC with the game starting at 5. Wednesday night, we had a cross-country meet at Everett, which we won, and a soccer game at Taconic, which we also won. And now, we have Max with an interview with one of our soccer players. Thanks, guys. Today, we're going to be interviewing Fabian about his soccer season so far. You ready? Yeah. All right. First question is, how are you performing this year? How's the season going? I think it's been a pretty good season, you know. We've had a rough couple games, but we're getting the hang of it, and we just need to get consistent. All right, that's good to hear. How many games have you played so far? We've so far played five games. Right. What's your win-loss ratio? Oh, we've lost two games and won three. All right, that's good to hear. Who are the captains this year? Our captains are Sully, Eric, Andrew, and Julius. Mm -hmm. What teams have you won against? We've beaten Drury, McCann, and Husik. All right, that's good to hear. Uh, when is your next game? Our next game is today at Renaissance. Renaissance. All right. And final question is, do you think you guys can make states? I think, I think we have a good chance, yeah. Good chance. All right. Well, it's good to hear. Well, thank you for coming. And now, let's head back to the studio. Thanks, Max. Homecoming is scheduled for October 20th, and the tickets are available from the 10th to, through the 20th for $15, with one water and one dessert included. The theme for this year's HOKO is Haunted HOKO. And now we're sending it off to Juliana with information about Taconic's recently reopened snack bar. Thank you. I'm here at Culinary Snack Bar today, which is now open after being closed for three years, and I had the chance to interview some of the culinary students as well as Mr. Moon. What influenced you to reopen the snack bar? Well, I think it's the administration's a little bit more open to it this year, and it's a great use of the space. It's a terrible thing when the space is not used. I don't think any of us feel good about it. Um, the challenging part is just, you know, having the restaurant open at the same time as producing the food for the snack bar and then supervising the two different areas, supporting the students to be successful. How do you prioritize the menu? Um, it's our first year doing this um, and everything's trying to be get figured out right now um, and so just trying to organize as much as possible and getting stuff quickly out of here and to people and not making them wait too long just so they get their food as, mu as fast as possible and um, just trying to make this a good place for everyone to be at. What are some things that could make the ordering process better? Well, what could make it better is if everybody that orders from the snack bar, there's a sign that says order and pick up, and if it would be better if they like ordered where it says order, because everybody just keeps crowding, and it makes hard to like see who's trying to order or who has already ordered, because they just come up here with all their friends. So if they could just order in the line that says order, it'd be way better. That's all for today's segment. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Juliana. If you have an idea for a new bell sound, email Dr. Bishop at mbishop at pittsfield.net. And finally, let's finish off the show with next week's weather with Darius and our special guest. Thanks, guys, and uh, glad to be back. It's a special uh, presentation of Wojcik's weather. We'll get into the forecast. Uh, looking across the country, a uh, mix of highs and lows. If you remember from when I used to be here, uh, highs happy, sunshine sunny, lows lousy, usually rainy weather. Um, this high up here is going to dominate us for the next uh, quite a few days. Uh, the only day today, Friday, there might be a slight chance of... Uh, 
shower coming in, uh, but mostly clouds. But the weekend is going to be gorgeous. We'll get into that in a few minutes. Some of the current temps around Pittsfield, 52, up in North Adams, 55, over in Albany, 51, basically mid-50s. We'll get up to 60s, uh, maybe 70 today, depending on how many clouds we have. So getting right into the forecast, tonight it's going to be dark. Uh, we're going to have that dark right through the night. And you will see some scattered light by the morning, okay? So there will be some scattered light by the morning. And looking at that forecast, like I said, uh, the clouds mostly today on Friday. Uh, chance of a shower, I think it's going to be more clouds than rain. If it's more rain than clouds, well, then I was wrong. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, awesome weekend, making up for our last weekend, if you remember, with all that rain last weekend from the tropical system. Uh, Saturday, 75, Sunday, 77, and even going into next week, we're going into a warm-up. Uh, Monday, 80, and it may be 80s for a few days next week, above normal temps for us. And the last thing I'll leave you with is a lot of hurricanes, hurricane season going on. Um, one of the things, hurricanes go in all different directions, and I don't know if people knew or not, but uh, how do hurricanes see where they're going? By their eye. You guys have a great weekend. It was great being here. See you soon. Thanks, Mr. Wojcic, for the weather. Let's take a big picture look into the climate effects on the fall. Fall has started and the leaves are starting to change. Here are some of the colors you can expect to see this year according to the United States Department of Agriculture. Early on, you'll start to see bright yellows and mutated tans. Later in fall, we have bright reds, vibrant oranges, and the lucky chances of some gold. Nearing the end of the fall, we'll start to die down with the dark reds and browns ending off our fall with all around brown. On to further climate news, with the increase in temperatures, the growing threat of global warming is already taking effect and fall is certainly being affected. The ever-growing temperatures are starting to delay the leaf coloring and the time they start to change. The heat is also associated with the earlier onset of spring. Not only that, but the higher precipitation and cloud cover that occurs due to the increase in temperature will start to mute the bright colors we are used to seeing. That's all for Lamont's Lightning. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Darius. Well, that's all we have for you today. And as always, if you have any news you'd like us to report, please email us at TaconicTV at Pittsfield.net. Remember to take responsibility, have respect, and strive for excellence. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Taconic. Taconic.